Hello guys and gals, me Alex, and welcome back to another discussion time. Ladies and gentlemen, today's gonna be a doozy. Please pull up a seat or, you know, get yourself a drink because this one's gonna be an interesting uh, topic. Lately, ladies and gentlemen, this one's gonna stray a little bit away from the gaming side of things, but this one's gonna have to do about the YouTuber copies. Now, the reason why we're gonna be talking about this, because recently in news, and uh, according to, you know, one of our beloved YouTubers, uh, for some of you that don't know, Video Game Donkey is a uh, YouTuber that obviously used to play League videos, and uh, he practically makes a lot of video game videos, as his name pretty much implies. But, um, quite recently, he actually made a video about the, uh, about YouTube, or Donkey copies. Now, before we jump into that topic, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta admit, a lot of people have blown this thing out of proportion, and how I know so is because, well, aside from, you know, YouTube being, you know, the drama house as it is with the, uh, KSI and Logan Paul or Jake Paul, whatever it fucking is, man, that, that cute little boxing fight that's been going on, yeah, that, uh, YouTube has been a, a full-on ad, ads, drama, and, yeah, YouTube is a wonderful place, I must say, but, um, <laughs> What's quite interesting about this topic is recently, and you know, um, the reason why I wanted to top off on this video because I got a little bit of a little inside news. Um, for some of you that don't know, Magic Carp use Fly, um, Frost Prime, Dark Main, um, practically the whole Carp crew, Yako, I believe. Um, yeah, th those guys are all part of the Carp crew. They, I'm sure, I'm missing out a few. Uh, excuse if any of you actually ever come across my video, please, please don't, you know, jab me in the throat. Um, I, I, I visit Tristan's uh, or Magic. Uh, sorry. Tristan, or AKA um, Frost Prime's videos a whole lot, uh, almost every day really, and well, not videos, his uh, streams, and quite frankly, he's a funny guy, he's really interesting when he comes to talking about certain things. Some things you agree, some things you don't, but you know, at the end of the day, it, it's a stream is a stream. Um, I've been watching a lot of Magic Carp use Fly stream recently on Facebook, Dark Main, I keep up here and there, I love watching his videos. Um, this is this is, this is video is not just for me to, you know, basically sit back and uh, just stroke, stroke their cocks this entire video. The reason why I got I wanted to speak upon this basis is because recently I've talked to, I wouldn't say sp like spoke physically, but I would say I, um, I messaged Magic Carp use Fly, or also known as Matt, he, uh, I messaged him on his during his stream and I got to talk with him a little bit and I was asking him like so quite frankly what's your take on this whole dunking situation I'm sure people have been bugging the shit out of you and I just wanted to know like what's what was the situation was this as a joke was this you know something that Dunky planned in the beginning of it all and told you guys hey don't take offense to it I'm just curious well what's the whole the situation and you know quite frankly I gotta give Magic Arbus Fly 110% on his answer his answer to me was it was just a funny video and quite frankly, that was probably the best response anybody has could have given me because quite frankly, you have people out here that the viewers essentially, which most of the drama will begin, and some I would say about a good 50% of it, even I would say about 85. But even then, Matt just flat out said it was just a funny video. There was no intentions to hurt nobody. He's not wrong. We all have a, a little copy in all of us. We all copy from each other once in a while. But at the end of the day. It was nothing but a funny video. And quite frankly, I got kind of the same response when it came down to talking to Frost Prime. And I asked him, I was like, so what's your take on this whole Donkey thing? And you know, his response was like, we're going places, boys. We were on Donkey's video, man. We're going places. <laughs> and you know, I'm glad he has a great humor about it. And quite frankly, everyone has humor about the situation. Aside from making free fucking content, kind of like how this video is going. The reason why I wanted to top off on this, because I actually got to speak to at least two of the streamers about the situation, and I got a full-on answer from them, and it wasn't an, any negativity, it wasn't like, oh, Donkey can go fuck himself or anything, it wasn't, because I think they deep down know that at the end of the day, and especially what Tristan said um, um, as Frost Prime, at the end of the day, even Tristan said it the best, he said, at the end of the day, we all have a copy in us. We're all inspired by somebody, at the end of the day, it's not like we're flat out full-on copying them, it's just... We take ideas from each other, which everybody does. I mean, any creator in this world has taken some kind of copy idea or has related to that copy or even that idea in the first place and has created something into their own. I, for one, have done that many, many times. I look at my camera setups when I do my stream sometimes. I do the close-up face. Frost Prime does that shit. Hell, maybe I copied him. Not really. I've seen this I've actually on car vlogs a lot of the time. Mad um... I've seen it on Magikarp use Fly himself, Demon Dark Main. I've even seen it throughout 
donkey videos, I, tons and tons of YouTubers I've seen this happen on, and quite frankly, I don't know what it is, but I can just get a fucking giggle from just doing a close-up face cam sometimes, you guys see it in my videos occasionally, and quite frankly, it's a giggle and a half to me. But that's just how I implemented that, because I thought it was funny. Not just alone, I've decided to do take a, um, a DSLR camera and actually record my video separately, I do my own audio editing, and a lot of that shit comes into play. I would say some some people, even my girlfriend, just like, I was watching a YouTuber who goes by Some Ordinary Gamers, also known as Mudahar, great fucking guy, love him to death. Some would say, my girlfriend's like, hey, you kind of have the same setup as him, I'm like, well, I kind of learned from his setup, I actually... I, some would say I kind of stole an intro from him. I I honestly just realized I started saying that recently just because before in my old videos I used to say hello boys and girls and that kind of sounded a little little too rapish. Um, I kind of stayed with the boys and gals thing just because it's more fluent, it's more uh, respectful, and I would say it's a lot more, <laughs> le le like I said, less rapey. But even then, I would say he, they definitely gave me ideas to do certain things with videos, especially with these discussion times. I enjoy doing these sort of things, and quite frankly, it's not saying, hey, I'm flat out copying them. No, I definitely took the idea from them, but I turned it into my own idea, turned it into my own way of doing certain things. And quite frankly, you know, you're not going to be the only one in the world that comes up with this one specific idea. For fuck's sake, some, somebody else could be doing this type of video that I am doing, and you're, they'll flat out say, oh, you're copying so-and-so, oh, you're copying so-and-so. It's like, but what if I'd never actually seen these content creators before? And quite frankly, what if it's, you know, what if I actually did come up with this idea, but I didn't, you know, didn't know if someone else came up with this similar idea in the process? I know it gets a little confusing when I start to uh, toggle off where I'm going on with this, but quite frankly, bring it back to the actual topic. Um, this whole situation between people assuming that it, it, it comes down to the assumption, and I've noticed a lot of viewers start going on Magic Carp Use Flies videos or even his streams quite frankly, and I've been watching his streams quite frequently, they'll make donkey references to him and you know, what's quite funny, Matt doesn't even give rat, two rats asses, which I gotta give the man respect man, it's quite interesting how he goes on about that sort of stuff. He just doesn't even bat an eye towards it, which I 100% respect out of all of this. And you know, if he ever comes across a video, God, fucking God bless, man. I hope that he, I hope he doesn't say you're fucking copy or sack shit. But you know, aside from all that, quite frankly, I think people have just blown this whole donkey copy thing out of proportion. And you know, some people actually get the joke. It's an actual fucking joke. Donkey hasn't followed up on any of this saying, "Oh, fuck those guys. They're making fun. They're they're they're, they're, they're fakers. They're um, pretending to be me." It's like. I don't, I don't think they flat out said, hey, hey it's me, Dunky, you know, as much as, like, you know, we can make his references, but at the end of the day, Dunky has become such a well-known YouTuber, and, you know, some people don't like him, some people do. I, for one, like his videos. I came across it on Facebook one time, and I didn't know who the hell he was. Thought he was an arrogant asshole, but it was a kind of funny arrogant asshole. And then, for sure enough, I found who he was, watched more of his videos, noticed, hey, he's actually kind of funny. I enjoy his contact. I, he's got my subscribe. At the end of the day, it's it's not just about the pick and choose, but at the end of the day, Dunkey's paved a path that essentially a lot of people found funny, a lot of people thought they could take, you know, into consideration, hey, I want to follow down this path as well. Maybe if I can use his ideas, but turn it into my alone. And quite frankly, I would say, even though these so-called Dunkey copies have copied him in it, in that sense, they did turn it into their own special video, I would say. They, they practically took a little bit of that, of Dunkey's ideas, and they've turned it into their own content, making it unique. And then, quite frankly, you don't come across a lot of these guys that do unique content. I mean, for fuck's sake, you look at Tristan, Fro oh, I keep calling him Tristan, I'm sure he gets offended, he's like, don't fucking call me Tristan. Um, Frost Prime, he's got an amazing setup when it comes to doing his streams, and quite frankly, like I said, it's inspired me to do certain things with my streams. And you know what the funny thing is? And both um, Frost Prime and Magic Arby's Fly have said the exact same thing to me. I haven't got to talk to Darkman, even though I'm. Uh, if if he saw my face, he'd be like, "Hey, look, it's a brother of mine." But <laughs> aside from that, Frost Prime and Magic Arby's Fly have given me the same answer when I've told them this. They're like, guys, you really do inspire me to make YouTube videos. And quite frankly, you guys are getting up there. You guys are up there in like you know the hundred thousands. You're up there in the thousands essentially. And I just fucking hit a hundred subscribers, and I'm over here freaking wetting myself like, woo. I finally made it to 100 subscribers, man. I'm, I'm fucking awesome. Yeah, please subscribe. But aside from all that, ladies and gentlemen, the, what I'm trying to build up to is they both gave me the same answer. When I flat out told both of them, it's like, hey, 
you guys do inspire me to make videos honestly you guys give me ideas you guys make you know the idea juices flowing in my head you guys make me want to upgrade my you know my my equipment you make me want to make, make quality so-called quality content and to my eyes it's not maybe not be the qual best quality but you know it's never going to be enough for me but what their answers were at the same time were i'm glad that we were inspiring other people without having at the end of the day they wanted to god I'm, I'm running all over the place here from what matt told me he said i'm glad i'm inspiring people to make content and that's pretty much one of my life dreams is to inspire those that even if i don't hear from them at least i'm inspiring somebody to make content to make good content to something that makes them happy and enjoy what they do and the same fucking thing comes from frost prime and quite frankly, even though those guys have a lot of subscribers, even though they have a lot of viewers, and they have a lot of people they gotta, you know, they gotta show a little bit of attention to here and there. And at one point, they were in our shoes, and at one point, they were a viewer also. And they still are viewers, and I'm sure they're learning as time goes on. But moral my whole point here before I keep this video going on fucking long enough. At the end of the day, I think this whole idea about the copies thing is a little blown out of proportion. Copies are gonna be copies. We... At the end of the day, it's not like they're going out and saying, Hey, I'm Dunky. Hey, I'm Magic Carb Usefly. Hey, I'm Frost Prime. I'm only using these guys as examples because I recently just talked to them. Well, not even Dunky, but... Moral of my whole point before I go off here is no matter if you are a copy or not, at one way or the other, you turn your content into what's made for you. Specifically, you gotta... Especially on YouTube platform, being original is kind of scarce these days. Coming across something a little original or, you know, trying to turn something into your own. Someone's already done it before and someone, quite frankly, probably does it better than you. But at the end of the day, once you're having fun making the video and once you're having fun doing the editing process and all that sort of fun in games, is it really a copy after that or is it just you flat out saying like, hey, I'm gonna steal exactly what they did or exactly on a video. If they do that, well, at the end of the day, I mean, I guess you can call them a copy, but at the same point in time, they made it into their own unique version of that video. Unless they're stealing word for word, then yeah, I guess that throw everything I always said for the last 12 minutes away, <laughs> pretty much. But uh, yeah, pretty much, I'm gonna end it off here, ladies and gentlemen. I've gone on long enough, way, way long enough, but moral of my point is, copies will be copies, but at the end of the day, unique content obviously doesn't just happen out of thin air. There's always going to be someone that inspires you, and at the end of the day, it's it's who inspires you and what keeps you going to make you know content on YouTube. But as cancerous as YouTube already is, you know I, I don't know what is original anymore. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end it off here. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Alex, and I hope to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Please tell me what you guys think. I'm actually genuinely curious to hear how you guys feel about the copy. You, YouTube copiers, has someone inspired you in the process? Let me know. And you know, it doesn't hurt to you know be honest about it. I mean, you, 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 somebody has inspired you in the process of making these type of videos. And I've seen a lot of videos that have been kind of you know unique to its own. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys in the next video.